Welcome to the 12 Days of Ian Me, where on the first day, my true wife who gave to me the first five minutes of a sister is all you need. My wife, who must be even more messed up in the head than I thought she was after this one, but when it comes to scenes that I remember, well, it's hard to top this show. It starts off, normally enough, a sister waking up her brother. I have woken my sister up before by dragging her out of bed, so nothing unusual here. But then it gets weird. And by that I mean she is sitting naked on his bed and then they kiss to wake him up. And then it gets even weirder. And then he goes to wash his face in her dirty bath water, dries his face with her bra, and then they go have breakfast where it gets even stranger. Because of the milk and the eggs and the other dimension and the panties and he eats them. And then there's this girl who apparently she's supposed to die but she isn't and she's there and well it just makes absolutely no sense whatsoever and every action just keeps getting more and more crazy and you really just want to start yelling at the show. Except it then does it for you. <laughs> Yes, the twist is that the first minute and a half here is all just the writings of a delusional light novel author with a weird obsession with little sisters. And then the rest of the scene is just an argument between the author and his editor over what they wrote. The editor basically goes through everything the viewer was going to yell at the show for, and the author sees absolutely nothing wrong with it whatsoever. The scene is just so great for an introduction to the show for a lot of reasons. The scene shows how messed up the author is, it also catches the viewer completely off guard, and introduces the whole tone of the show with its fan service and comedy. If you actually care about the plot, and not just the plot, you are also introduced to that with the author's goal to get another book published. But having difficulty because for whatever reason, he and the editor don't quite see eye to eye. I wonder why. This scene will definitely turn a lot of people away and I can't blame them. I will just tell you if you go to try the show without the warning, though I kind of told you what it was about anyway, give it at least five minutes and then you can drop it fine, whatever. Because yeah, this show is a fan server show. And there's nothing here that really justifies the fan service, like for symbolism or plot, I guess Kind of comedy, but even then, I don't think that counts. And the story itself isn't that interesting from the few episodes I've seen. But, you know, sometimes a trashy show can be a lot of fun. And that's what this is, at least so far. So, I look forward to watching more of it. Plus, I'm watching this one with my younger sister because absurd shows are always fun to watch with someone else. Yes, you heard that right. I am watching A Sister is All You Need with my younger sister. Fan fictions have already been written, but those are stories for another day, so I hope you will join me for the rest of these 12 days of anime. The show that I'm going to highlight tomorrow will be a lot less comedic than this one. In fact, it is a show that may leave you in an abyss of despair, if you know what I mean. So, I will see you then. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Hanukkah, because I think Hanukkah is multiple days, so I'm still accurate there. And I will see you tomorrow.